Hey guys, this is Justin Bob 100 here, and here is episode two of Amnibra Art. Uh, right now, I am doing a spider, and it looks like a dildo, but it is not. It is actually going to be a spider who happens to be climbing on a wall, or maybe he's just floating there. You don't really know. I don't even know. But yeah, you kind of have the basic body. Um, that leg on the top right. It, it, it bothers me watching it again. I end up changing it, but it just looks so weird in its current position. It's just like, ugh, I don't like it. And then I obviously do shading. Oh, I'm done! No, I, I gotta shade it. Shading is important if you want to have good art. I mean, I don't care. You can do flat images um, without shading all you want, but if you really want to have good art in your levels, you gotta... You gotta try something different and go with shading, if you're not already doing it. So right now I kind of create a um, shadow on it, but it's kind of on both sides, and I make it so the light part of it's like hitting it um, directly instead of on the side of it. So that's why I have that little thing there, and then I I miss the opportunity. I could have put, um, I could have put little shading inside the, oh wait, I did, never mind, <laughs> I was like, I missed an opportunity, dang it, and then I made the eyes bigger and more menacing, um, because it just wasn't menacing enough, and I was like, well, how is it on that wall, that is a big ass spider, I need to have something connected, so I gave it a spider web, hooray, um, yeah, I don't know if I had this in the last one, but I put, like, kind of a cracked effect on the crumble block to show that it is significant. Yeah, kind of dropping hints throughout the level is uh, a smart thing to do. Because sometimes with puzzle levels, it can be pretty confusing what you want to do. And you do not want a player to quit just because they don't know how to do it. I mean, you can make it kind of tricky and make them think a bit. But when it gets to the point where they just have no idea what they're supposed to do and they're just confused, it's no fun. And yeah, I kind of cut a lot during this vent part. Pretty much I make this X-shaped thing on each block. And then I do this thing where I kind of fill it in. Um, I like this color. This is the color I end up using for the top part of it. And the funny thing is, I'm not even filling the triangle all the way. It just looks like it is filled up when you zoom out. Like, look at that. It looks perfectly fine. <laughs> So that works pretty well. Um, and then you do the dark part of it. And the dark part is easy to fill in because that's what I did for the uh, the lines dividing it. And uh, if you want to make your vents, like I know if you're doing like adventure levels or any sort of like action level, maybe a factory, a vent is pretty common. You can do this kind of vent. Um, it, it can be it can be kind of tedious, and if you're gonna have a lot of vents, you probably don't want to do this. Maybe just do like um, without the X's, just like a bunch of lines in it. But I wanted to make this part special to make it stick out from the part before it, so I did the vents like this. And the parts where the vents are open, you have to make it look like that's an opening in the uh, vent itself. So you have to have those little bar. I had to put those little bar things on it. And I made a stupid mistake of not erasing, well, okay, I think I cut ahead, but I didn't erase inside there, so it was kind of annoying having to go and erase that when I just should have started it like that. And yeah, that's that. Actually, no, here's the problem. The background, I end up having to change the background because... The, the cave doesn't have that brownish thing to it. I don't know what I'm doing right here. I think I end up cutting this, because, yeah, I had to fill in this whole whole thing. Yeah, I was like, ah, oh, shoot. But yeah, there's the cut. And now it's all filled in and such. And then, the rocks. Oh, yeah. If you want to have... Sometimes uh, color variety is always good if you want to make something stand out. So I decided red. Red can stand... Red usually stands out pretty well. Any color will do if you want to make uh, a section 
a little bit more interesting because there's a lot of grays in this level and um, with gray comes kind of like oh this is the same old kind of boring dull look to it so if if in your level you uh, you should definitely throw in some other colors and then I do this thing I think I cut ahead and it's just like all filled in yeah <laughs> and I also put some blood on the rocks just to show it's like danger and I start filling in this part, but I'm not going to finish this part until I'm actually, I didn't record the cell section, but I will go through it and explain what it's all about and do that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and this is Justin Bob 100 signing out.